been a long day. Today I am remaking this video for the Nurture update since I filmed the entire thing, uploaded it to YouTube or so I thought, then deleted it and apparently it wasn't completely uploaded which leads to what makes this day so bad, redoing this entire update. So you may not see much of me building during this update because everything has been built for this update already. So I'm just going to show off what I've done this past week since all the footage has been deleted. But today I am at Birth World Chicago. I am super hyped for that. Make sure if you check out the vlogs, there should be a few vlogs out already. But this is a pre-recorded video for Birth World Chicago 2022. Since I'm currently at the convention, right now having tons of fun with my friends Micah and Team Monk. So I'm very excited for Brooklyn Chicago at the time of this recording. But enough cheer chair, let's get into this literature update starting now. Alright, starting off from where we left off last week, we did a lot of snot paneling right here on these two panels, which look absolutely amazing. I'm in love with how these are turning out. But this week we're going to take a quick break from that as you guys may have seen in the last update and we're going to be working on the interior a bit. Now we didn't build this gun room originally in the update but throughout the update that got deleted we built the entire gun room but we'll get to that in a minute. First thing I want to take a look at is this amazing tactical droid. Holy cow this thing is amazing. It came from OMV Customs and is by far one of my most favorite things in my collection right now. And I just realized this brick is sticking up, so I'm gonna fix that first. All right, starting off this week on the venture, pushing this brick down, we have some amazing progress on the venture this week. We have a new hallway system that has been inserted. This is insane. I actually built one of these wall pieces for the first time, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for it completely yet. I'm thinking about using squares. I'm thinking about using this circular design because it looks absolutely amazing. Or I'm thinking about using transparent bricks and making these light up. Although I've seen that before and it's very hard to make it effective. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that yet. But this is the design I was going for based off an image I found on Google for this hallway design. And I think it looks absolutely amazing from what I can see. I spent about 2-3 hours designing this, trying to make everything work and line up properly. Um, including this like side door thing right here, this control panel, and just this wall and general prototyping it for the first time. It took a long time to do. Also, doing this stuff here at the top, which is not complete, kind of playing on telling these off right here, as you guys can see. But overall, I think this came out looking amazing. With my lean trooper right there from the lean trooper squadron, 100% Mace Windu's Legion. That looks great. Um, and yeah, I'm overall just enjoying this design. I do have to build another one of these still. I have yet to get these pieces though in a white color because as you guys can see right here, there is these special curve pieces and I just don't have enough of those because they're usually extra pieces with the poured minifigure. But I only have so many ports, although I do have a lot. I only have so many, so I have I don't have a whole ton of pieces. So I did order some of those through a brick link order I placed recently. But overall, this is looking great. I'm super happy with the progress we made outside of the Lego gun room this week on the Venator. Now, let's talk about my designs and plans for the Venator in the future. So, we're gonna have another hallway just like this on the other side right here. And there's gonna be another door entering to this room right here. Now, in this room, I do plan on having the barracks as we have discussed in recent updates. And on this side, we're going to have the gun room. So let's take a look at what I've actually built for the gun room this week. All right, so this is our brand new gun room. And let's take a look at these Wolfpack Troopers. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. I can't believe I got these. I got them for 20 bucks each. And they do have some damages on the side, but they're barely noticeable. Like it's only on one side. It's not even this side. But like 20 bucks per Wolfpack Trooper. That's a steal. So I got two of those finally at long last. I've been waiting to get those forever. Anyways, let's take a look at this amazing gun hanger. Well, not hanger, but gun room storage. Lego gun storage there. Now inside here, we have tons of amazing things such as some custom last shows from Tinjay Tinjay Chin on Instagram. We have a technique of one stud right here and then you place a bracket to hold a blast shield and then two studs, bracket, two studs bracket, two studs bracket for all four of these. And then above that we have some nice bigger weapons from LEGO, not custom made. 
Now, we are going to talk about some custom weapons here in a minute. So this weapon right here, right above the gunk droid, gunk, gunk, um, is a custom rotary gun that we got a long time ago for three dollars. I do want to get a second one of those to put it below it, but overall, I'm in love with this design that we have here. We even have like a special pin code that is needed for you to access these special weapons since they are such heavy weapons and you know you should have some identification before carrying one of these bad boys into the battlefield so we also had that installed then in the corner we're going to have some crates stacked up i have yet to work on that completely but overall that looks very nice now in the center here i don't have the pieces yet but i would like to do something that holds helmets and since i have a bunch of these 332nd helmets I thought I would put them on the racks like so which I thought would be really nice to do since we don't have a lot of spare phase 2 helmets maybe I'll get some different battalions eventually for spare helmets but for now we're just going to wait on that since we don't have the parts to complete that section yet but that is what I'm planning to do with this section right here is have some nice helmets there which is going to be super cool then moving over here we have a gun table for our lego weapons um this is fully maxed out right now which is super nice. It's not complete yet, but we have a majority of it done, which looks really good in the vanisher. Now for this room, I did a lot of dark bluish gray plates instead of tiles because I knew I wanted to place a lot of figures in this room, posing and doing different things. So I decided to go with plates for this room. Now let's move into the final thing we really did for this weapons room. Now over here, we have some weapon against the wall with an insert in the wall since there's so much space in here for the, one of the strongest points on the furniture, which I love with the truss system. Um, we have a nice indentation in the wall so that we can fit the weapons properly and they're not sticking out, which is something we struggled with while we were designing this room, which I pointed out in the last time I filmed this update. But sadly, since that got deleted, I am mentioning it here now. And another thing we also did with this gun room is we made this nice smooth surface right here that will hopefully align with this paneling right here for the venator. So I think this is going to line up pretty nice. I might end it right here and then go up a bit more. But overall, I think this is looking super nice so far. Now, the reason why I decided to take a break from this and work on this room right here is because Remember last week how we had these doors that are open and closed with just a knob right here that would close super well all three doors at one time? Well, that is something that we're going to be working on very soon with power functions. Now, we do have a ton of power functions that I want to do in this ship and one of the storage areas for power functions is right above this room. So, in the coming weeks, we're going to be putting some plates up here that are going to be easily removable and doing a housing station for the power functions of the ship. Now, I know the placing of this is not perfect, but it will be very easy to remove. So, basically right here, we left a small section open to put some kind of gear to connect to the power functions, which will be above this room, so we can have automatic doors in the venture, which will be awesome. Just amazing to see. So, I'm super excited for that. But that is something we're going to be working on next week, hopefully, on the Venator series, which I'm super excited to get into. Now, the final thing I want to point on this update was this thing right here, which was super hard to create. So, to make the very nice wall on this side, we had to do some very cool building techniques, such as placing um, this thing right here to connect to the wall, which was very difficult to do, and just overall took a really long time. But overall, I think this came out super strong, but we have these plates right here, so I can really just cover it up. And that way, it's not really too noticeable. Another thing right here is, to make this line up perfectly with the wall, we had to do some illegal burning techniques. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a little crack right there, that means it's not perfectly lined up. So we are doing a little bit of a legal burning technique right there, but it's not noticeable when we put this thing back on really too much. You can't barely, you can barely see it. So that is something we had to do to make this work out. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this week on the custom Venator series. Now let's head into the outro of this episode. All right, that's all for this Venator update today. I hope all you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below because we have a lot in store for next week. Trust me, you guys are gonna be blown away by what we have to see next week on the update. So that's all for now guys. Peace out. I'll see you all next Sunday on the next Veritor update. Bye.